the Rio 2016 Olympic Games has been the talk of the town in sport, and the 31st edition of the Summer Games will finally make its bow this week. Badminton is one of the 28 sports featured in the multi-sport extravaganza, and the racket sport will be looking to crown five new champions at the prestigious competition in Brazil. One nation eager to make its presence felt on the Olympic podium is Denmark. As with other sports, winning at the Summer Games typifies the pinnacle of an athlete's achievements, and the Scandinavian country is pulling out all the stops as they gear up their Olympians for the journey ahead in Rio. Badminton Unlimited dropped in on their training camp in Bromby recently to report on how Denmark's medal hopefuls are shaping up. After a grueling 52-week qualification period, followed by the demanding team competition at the Total BWF Thomas and Uber Cup finals, the national coaches gave their chargers a well-deserved break before preparation started for the Olympics. The break was definitely needed for all the players to come back, be fresh and ready to uh, prepare for the Olympics, which uh, what you need, you need to be fresh uh, physically and mentally because the, the way we build up for these uh, all major championships is, is quite hard uh, to say the least. Uh, so you need to be mentally prepared for that and that's why you need the break. The Danish quest for Olympic glory will be across all five categories. Their challenge in men's singles is spearheaded by European champion Victor Axelsson and Jano Jorgensen. While in women's singles, it will be 22-year-old Lena Kjersfeldt. I'm really looking forward to it. You know, the Olympics is really special. Uh, talking with uh, all of the other players who uh, have already uh, played the Olympics once or twice, they say that it's just a special thing and you have to see what happens when you get there and let the feelings come to you. Mixed and women's double specialist Christina Pedersen will be competing on two fronts with Joachim Fischer-Nielsen and Camilla ritter yule respectively. It's my first time for to going to Brazil as well, um, but this shoot to win, uh, I'm sure it's going to be going to be yeah amazing to, to be a part of. It's also the the whole event uh, around it, the whole Danish team, all the other athletes. Uh, so of course it's it's making it more special uh, to join the Olympics. Denmark's challenge in men's doubles will come in the form of veteran duo Carsten Mogensen and Matthias Bo. With Morgensen recently back to competitive action after undergoing brain surgery in February, the world number six tandem may find it tough to better or replicate the silver medal they achieved in London four years ago. However, their Yonex US Open win last month was a good omen and proved they are back at a high level. He's had a, an, ama an amazing recovery and uh... Of course, he was starting a little bit below his normal level uh, when we started the preparations, but uh, I think he's catching up and I'm, I'm pretty sure that, that he will be uh, fully back on track when, uh, when we leave for Rio. Brondby wasn't exclusive to those Brazil bound. Be it in any aspect of preparations, the rest of the national team members were on hand to assist their compatriots to get ready for the battle ahead. The Olympic campaign is pretty much a team effort for the Danes. We, we have a, a, a very good mentality in our squad that everybody's helping uh, to, to get the Olympic players as fit as possible and, and uh, as sharp as possible before they leave. I think we tr kind of try to get uh, as good as we can in all areas. Uh, we start out uh, being quite physical, uh, then it becomes uh, technique, tactical, uh, and uh, finishing up with uh, being uh, ready to, to deal with all the different uh, issues that will happen at the Olympics. Uh, so that's a bit of mental in it as well. The training camp also allowed the players to work on any identified weaknesses both on and off the court. Strengthening the attributes of their all-round game could prove vital. It's always uh, important for us to, to have a lot of movement on court. Uh, we are pretty tall, both of us, so it's, it's uh, very important to, to have strong legs and, and move quick around the court. So that's uh, been one of the, the main focus. Uh, and also just uh, a lot of speed practice, uh, especially against the boys. We always play against boys uh, at practice uh, to, to get used to uh, the hard pressure.
I work a lot with uh, Carsten Olkengaard, my mental coach, and we have been working on, you know, getting some information about how I felt doing the daily practices, how tired uh, I am, and um, how um, my energy levels. We are also try to prepare for the Olympics in a good way, you know, try to talk about what can happen, uh, how to deal with it, and stuff like that. Denmark's first ever Thomas Cup triumph earlier this year gave the European champions the perfect launch pad for their Olympics campaign. Rio 2016 will be another opportunity for their players to further consolidate the country's credentials. But the Danes aren't under any illusions that it will be easy in Brazil. Results on the international circuit in recent years have suggested increased competition with more countries in the reckoning. But the Danish players know they only need to focus on their own game plan if they want to put out their best performances during the games. It's going to be really, really tough in both ladies double and mixed double as well. We also know that the, the competition, all the, the pairs from, especially from Asia in, in ladies double and in mixed double, uh, it's going to be, they are hungry and, and I'm sure they have been preparing as, as good as we have uh, at least. So um, yeah, it's going to be really, really tough, but um, we'll do our very best. I just uh, think that the most important thing is that I go in there and try to make it all work. And again, if I play my best, then I have a good shot at doing really well. But um, I also go in there with a uh, realistic perspective. And I know that uh, I have to perform at my absolute best if I want to be uh, in the last uh, top, uh, top three. Since badminton's inception at the Olympics in 1992, the Scandinavians have taken home a total of one gold, two silver and three bronze medals across all categories. There is enough optimism within the Danish camp to believe that there will be additions to the current hall. We have a strong team and we believe that the, stream, the team is strong enough to win medals and uh, a singles medal or a doubles medal is uh, equally fine for me. So um, as, as long as we get someone on the podium, then uh, I'm happy. The world has waited four years for the Olympics and Rio is set for another sporting spectacle. And for Denmark's team of shuttlers, they're primed and ready to be part of this unforgettable experience.